odor of perversion. In any city, in any country, go to the nearest police precinct and tell the head clerk that you would like to post bail for the one who calls himself the man of many tastes. A look of weary resignation will cross the clerk's face and he will ask you for six dollars and nine cents. Pay the man and he will take you deeper into the building. As you pass the holding cells, you will begin to notice the prisoners grow more and more monstrous. Eyes will turn blood red, arms will ripple with unnatural muscles, and horrible shrieks will erupt from their throats. Do not stray from the center of the hallway, for to get too close to one of the cells is to invite certain death. At the end of the hallway there will be but a single door. Heavily armored and with no identifying number, a red light will emanate from the cracks around it. At this point the clerk will unlock it for you, but make no move to open it. That is a task for you and you alone. If you manage to muscle the door open, proceed within. A short man with wispy hair will huddle in one corner, surrounded on all sides by pictures of the most awful pornography known to man. Many will claw out their eyes here to avoid having to see such unspeakable horrors. Many more will fall to the ground in shock, their souls being absorbed by the pictures to become one with the horrible acts. If you are strong, however, or just twisted enough to be able to find pleasure in at least one of the images, then you may approach the man. He will gaze up at you with watery eyes. Ask him this. What would pleasure be without pain? If he begins to laugh at this, then prepare for an eternity of suffering and perversion as you become part of his grand collection. If instead he draws a knife and slices open the palm of his hand, then you are safe. He will walk to a nearby table and pick up a yin and yang pendant. Without opposites, nothing is definite, he will say to you as he hands you the pendant. At this he will turn from you and speak no more. Proceed out the door and back to the main office. This pendant is object 255 or 538. Taboo is in the eye of the beholder.